Hi everyone, welcome to my session on ISO 27001 Lead Auditor 2022 Training and Certification. This session will take you to an informed decision. Every second information security professional has one common certification that is ISO 27001 Lead Auditor. There are 5,000 plus new organizations annually get certified. So very obvious, organization undergoing the audit, what we call as auditee, and the certification body that is conducting the audit will need professionals like you. It is also important to note here that ISO 27000 certification is conditionally valid for three years. That does mean first year you will have a full audit and second year, third year, you will have a surveillance audit. So very obvious, you will need the auditors. I have seen in my career, there are 40 to 100% salary hike professionals have achieved after completion of this certificate. In general, ISO 27001 lead auditor salary range is starting from 10 lakh till 30 lakh that you can achieve. So there are various other advantages that you can have a look at. You can get certified by joining this four-day session. This will be instructor-led by training. You will have a detailed understanding about 27,000, 27,001, 27,002 and 19,011 standard. You will be involving with the exercises that is including the audit planning, audit checklist, audit delivery, that is conducting the audit, preparing audit test cases like this, that you will have many exercises with me. Fifth day, you will be writing examination. For that, I will be thoroughly preparing you as well. You will have a result coming up in 30 days. This is the lowest time frame with TUSO as a certification body. You, this is a global certificate and you can validate anywhere, anytime. My name is Mahesh Pandey. My overall experience is 23 years. I'm accredited trainer from APMG, TUSUIT, and various other certification bodies. I have trained professionals from 54 plus countries, 10,000 plus professionals I have trained so far. So you can have a look at some of my certifications list. So these are my training areas as well as consulting areas. I will be bringing all this experience to you in your training course. Today, organizations, they are trying to retain their brand value in the digital world. Data privacy is one of the biggest concern or there are significant fine that organizations will have to pay. If you implement ISO 27001 certification for organization, very obvious, other areas like legal, regulatory, contractual, business uh, that we are here today with technology driven approach will be able to protect organization. However, organization field, information security, cyber security, and data protection is purely a job of implementation of the tools like firewall, identity access management, data leakage prevention, anti-spam, and so on and so forth. We completely miss on this area where organization will have to be careful about the organization controls like related to various departments as mentioned here. There are policies and processes related to these areas. We have to be careful about the people and related controls, similarly physical and technology. And that's exactly what you have covered in ISO 27001 and the 27002 and you will understand that. So your syllabus is largely dependent on four standards. The first one where ISO 27000, you will have overview and vocabulary. 27001 is actually as a framework, which is based on PDCA, PDCA, okay, Plan, Do, Check, Act. There are four to 10 clauses, which are mandatory for every organization to abide when they are implementing and achieving their ISO 27001 certification. While you perform the risk assessment at the time of implementation of ISCS, you will have to 
implement or you will be identifying certain risk. To mitigate those risks, you will have to implement certain controls. These controls are defined in ISO 27002. And these controls, you will be having four categories. One, organization, people, physical, and technology. So organization has 37 controls. People has total eight controls. Physical has 14 controls. And technology has 34 controls. Thus, total 93 controls are there. Which control to select? and omit. All that you will have as a part of statement of applicability. So this will come out based on the 27,000 where you will have a guidelines in terms of how to implement these controls. Finally, we are going to learn ISO 27,000 lead auditor course where you are going to conduct the audit on ISO 27,000. You need to use 19011 as a standard which actually gives the guidelines on how to audit any management system. So overall learning objectives that you will have, you will be able to identify the international center requirements and these are mandatory requirements out of 4 to 10 clauses. I repeat, out of 4 to 10 clauses of ISO 27001. You will be understanding or you will have a clarity about how to design the policy and a process, which is the biggest value addition. Physical and logical scope, based on which you will be planning your law. You will have a clarity about ISO, that is the ISO's the statement of applicability, which we have just spoken about. ISO's implementation approach, unless you understand the implementation, you will not be able to audit, and I will help you understand the detail approach. I have prepared my own approach of implementation. You can use this approach not only for implementation of ISO standard, but you can use it for implementation of a framework or any service in any given organization. When we are going ahead with the audit, we will have a lot of terminologies related to that where audit, auditor, auditee, guide, observer, technical expert, then audit criteria, evidences. So you will have that detailed understanding. Audit, while you are conducting, you will have to follow certain principles. That is, auditor will have to follow certain principles. So there are seven principles, like risk-based audit, evidence-based, due professional care, integrity, independence, confidentiality, we will understand that. Audit is conducted in two phases, phase one, phase two. Phase one will be largely dependent on the international standard requirements, whether organization is fulfilling or not. Phase two is to verify whether the organization is following those practices, what they have defined. While you are conducting the audit, you will have to prepare for that. That means audit planning is there as well as audit checklist. Audit checklist is something that will help auditor not to miss during the audit phase. And as well as the planning, we'll talk about planning as per the fixed timeline with respect to the respective department, roles and responsibilities, processes, tools, technology that needs to be evaluated. We will be preparing our test cases and you will be independently doing these activities and I will help you. So as, as you join any organization, you will not be relying or you do not have to look at Google or any other reference material. Conducting the opening meeting is all about stakeholder meeting, some organization called as kickoff meeting. So I will help you understand and you will be driving some exercise. We will be having some exercises based on that. Audit questioning technique, the conducting the audit, collecting the evidences, and most important is the drafting non conformity. Auditor will have a hat of, I will find out something. That is something really wrong. Okay, when we are giving non-conformity, we'll have to be very careful. If there is a genuine non-conformity with respect to the clauses and controls, you will have to. However, how to draft that? How to project that? How that you will be passing it to the lead auditor as well as you will be passing it to the master leader. 
I will guide you with all this. What is the repercussions of you, you defining or you providing the non-conformity or you giving the non-conformity? With respect to surveillance audit, this has to be carried out second and third year after the organization first year is certified. So what is the surveillance audit all about? And what will be your role in that? So you will have a clarity about that. Certification, examination, preparation that I will thoroughly prepare you so as you 100% clear your examination. Okay. You can validate your certificate. This is a lifetime valid certificate. So you do not need to appear once again. There are various organizations charge you one, of course, the certification every three years. So this TUS certification is valid for lifetime. This is the lowest time frame within which you will get your result. And after 60 days, you can validate your certificate in the successful candidate register. You will have a link from me. Here are some of my latest courses and the uh, images for that. We have been delivering service management, ISOs, information security like CISSP, CISA, CISAM certification across the world. And you are most welcome to join our courses. We are partnered with various certification bodies. We'll be happy to help you achieving your ISO 27001 certification. You can connect us on provided numbers as well as in an email. We are here to help you out. Thank you very much.